TRMZ Whiskey Mance. Hello, I hope you're all good guys, thanks for coming in. Shuken, Age New, Wonder Woman, Luga, Still74, J Will, thank you very much, J Will was yesterday, thank you for the other guys. Uh, cheers for the support, I hope you're all good, thanks for coming in. First one in, thank you. Let's have a swig of me tea. So I'm slightly late, apologies guys, I, uh, I went for a walk, I, I went to go to my local supermarché to pick up a few things for lunch, but went on a walk that took an hour to get there, because I need to walk every day, because I'm a fat bastard, right? So. I walked, I walked around, it took me about an hour and 50 minutes to get to the shop. I get in the shop, I get the few things, I put it, go to the self-service, and I get to the till. Right, obviously, I've, I've rang it all up, I've got it in my bag, and then I reach for my pocket, and my wallet is at home. <laughs> so then I had to walk home, get my wallet, drive back to the shop. <laughs> so I went on an hour and 30 minute walk to get the car to go to Sainsbury's. <laughs> Which was very smart, so I'm a bit late. Uh, it sucked. I was a bit bit crestfallen at the time, but there we are. These things happen. I've been walking. If I'm going anywhere countrified, I'm, I've been walking in shorts, even though it's not that warm. Just because it saves, like, if I walk in jeans, you get mud flecked up, and it, it, it's a pain in the ass. So I, I wear, I'm going out in cargo shorts and uh, no, and walking boots. Happy it's a good running. look. It's a good look. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I, nearly every woman that passed quivers with excitement. <laughs> not got my phone, T. Ralph. Here's the thing, right? I had my phone. I've never set up Apple Pay. I've what never done do it. I, 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 at this, at that moment, I thought perhaps maybe it was time. So I, I'll commit to setting up Apple Pay at some point. Uh, I promise. Got them steps in though. Yeah, I've done the steps. That's true. All right, let's turn the music off right quick. Hello, Echo River, how you doing? Is the stream stuttering? I hope not. I'm not, I'm just having a look at, I've not dropped any frames. I'm sacked, am I, Catcus? Dude, that sounds good. I'll have some time off. Sounds lovely. Alright, we'll have to go to the, to the town. I spawned here before. 
and I chose not to go to the town and it was a mistake, so let's go to the town this time. My little boy just heard the music and shouts, it's time to start running. Oh, that is cool. Hello, Tolly's lad. I hope you're good. Don't listen to some of the other words I say, okay? Uh, Goddess, thank you for the 13 months. Danny, thank you very much for the support. Flint Striker, Shukin, thank you very much. And I'm not dropping any frames. It, it seems solid, my end. The game seems solid. I'm not I'm not dropping any frames whatsoever, so I, I don't know. How do I use my Prime sub? Uh, well, you've already got a sub at the moment, Fuel and Face, but as and when it runs out, uh, you click on the... Uh, it, 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 is it Elevate? Elevate your subscription? I think it's that. I forget. I keep forgetting the word that they use. They use a fancy word, but you click on that and it's in there. Yeah, elevate your subscription. Thank you, uh, Substatica. They're not prescription kale. I, I actually buy them from Amazon, believe it or not. But they, you can get them in... Uh, I bought them in, like, a health food shop in the past. They're called glutolytic. Glutolytic tablets. They're not... Uh, if you've got celiac or anything, they're no good, right? But if you've just got an intolerance, they're all right. Glutolytic, spelt G-L-U-T-A-L-Y... Like that, glutolytic. TIC. There's a few different options, but there's about 16 tablets in a packet. Might take that actually. So, last time I spawned where I've just spawned, I didn't come here and it was a mistake. Nidix, thank you for the very long resub, dude. Thank you. I hope you're well. And now for the painful. Oh no, we can use the knife. I was going to say for the painful moment where I have to take my gloves off to punch a zombie. Right, a start shadow play here. Nothing's happened. So in case this happens to make the best video ever, I found a machete and I spawned about 300 metres away, okay? This is the start. I'm about 90 seconds into this character's life and so begins the best YouTube video that this channel's ever made. No doubt. <laughs> Slash I'm going to die in the crack house. Nice food today. I had ham, coleslaw, sangers. Ham and coleslaw, sangers. And I had to I had to do two trips to the supermarket to get the ham and the coleslaw. Which made it taste extra worse. Oh, hook in the hat. A hook in the hat. We don't need no stinking hats. But we could do with the belt, I suppose. Put a canteen on the belt! Put a canteen on the belt! What about a canteen? A canteen for fuck's sake! <laughs> Got two new watches, Cadfrey. Wow. You ain't fucking about. Two new ones, eh? That's no mean feat. Two new ones. Like, how do you decide what to wear first, eh? Ooh. Both. Both is the answer. I need some space. The skull there is uh, touch worrying. I don't really want to bother with the Zeds if I can avoid it because there ain't much here. Uh, Capri, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. Oh god, I got bat like hearing there. Wow. Got any shells? No. I wonder if we should start taking rope actually. I think we should probably start cutting -R -R stuff up for, for rags. I'm gonna need rope, maybe I can find a burlap. I'm gonna need a bag. Can't be bothered with the Zeds. Yeah. Actually, going to run out of space really quite quickly. 
How do you get your blood level up? I almost died from a few Zeds. Josephus, you just need to stay energised and hydrated and it'll come back. So your blood level rejuvenates. It just takes a little while. So you just got to wait it out. The only other thing you can do is go to a hospital and find a saline bag and a start kit. Combine them together. That'll give you an injection of blood. If you find a blood bag kit, when your blood's full, you can take your own blood and then give it to yourself later when you need it. But you actually have to be prepared for that. You have to already have it. You know, If you've not already got it, it won't work. I didn't think that would work. T R M Z Toby Yard. I'm gonna need some sp space, like space for holding shit. That's very good colour. Maybe we'll just go out and lie, it on the, lie out on the ice sheet and we'll be okay. Nobody will know. I feel like somebody's going to turn up in a minute. I hope I'm using the right rope here. Blood takes a while to regen, but it's not that hard to get a saline ready, you know, but that's the trick. The, the, what you need to do, though, you, you, your blood needs to be... Uh, you, you, you have, your energy, you need to be not yellow, or if you're starving, you don't regen any blood. But as long as you're eating and drinking, you're kind of okay. It will come back. It doesn't take that long. You just a little bit of patience. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. He's coming in. I do need to drink at that well, really. It would be useful. Hi, oh, Paul. Look at that. Just some money towards heated back seats in the Tesla. <laughs> it doesn't have that, I don't think. Actually, I don't think. I don't know. I don't think it does. Uh, Leeway, thank you very much for the for the resub. Very kind. Naltal, thank you for the sub. Cheers for the member inning on YouTube. Very very kind, dude. Thank you. Uh, okay, that's a gun. Two bullets only, but it is a gun. Uh, Lee Woy, thank you, Noltal Stratmat. Thank you very much for the support as well. Right. I've, I've died here a few times. Hopefully not today. We'll see. You get shot at this well quite a bit. Always an entertaining stream. Hello, thank, thank you. Thank you all for the fun. Cheers for the re for the resub. Very, very kind. Thank you, Philoceline and Stratmat. Thanks again. <sighs> I'm too old to troll. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that tea is good. Yeah, I'm coming back to your question about the walk, Jam, but I went on a lovely walk round by the by the uh, uh, like just in the countryside around fields and shit it was all lovely all great bloody aggro for said Fucking want some. Fuck off. Go on. Fuck off. And so begins the Namask shuffle.
how did he do that? I was halfway up the fucking ladder. I've only got two bullets. I really don't want to fuck about with this. No, it doesn't have a mic. That's good. It's kind of tricky with a new spawn. Like, I need to... Uh, I'm cold. I need to warm up, but I can't make the fire here for obvious reasons. Well, thank you for your bones. Yeah, I, I wanted to use the machete, but if I use the machete, the, the downside is that he's likely to get a couple of hits on me, and I'm already wiped with a gap. I ain't feeling it. I don't want to lose too much health, so, yeah, I think that was okay. We'll take his bones. We can now fish. We can... We're doing all right. He'd already killed somebody else. Let's take his winter coif. I don't need the bones for fishing, I suppose. We've got the machete, but... Dude, I tell you what, if he'd looked in there... If he'd gone in there, we could have been in trouble. They are... Well, I imagine they're a bit weaker now. Knives are probably stronger than that, but anyway. It would have certainly helped him. Uh, pristine as well, that is. Very good. Right, I need to make a fire. I kind of want to make a fire, but not somewhere too fucking obvious. So there's been some stuttering, maybe, but uh, I don't think there's anything wrong my end, guys. I, so I, I don't know what to tell you. Is it stuttering on YouTube or is it clean on YouTube? No, no, no stutters on YouTube, so there may be an issue with the Twitch server then, basically. Uh, Gebbles, well, uh, I, I'm sure you'll be able to find it somewhere, but probably your best bet is just what it looks like, dude. And if you've had it 18 years, you'll know what you paid for it. It won't be worth a great deal more than you paid for it, chances are, but uh, you should be able to find out about it. A little bit of time looking. It's the cold. That su it sucks that it's stuttering though, but like my, my stats on uh, the stream are completely clear. So I, OBS tells you how many frames you're dropping and whatnot. I'm dropping none. How did he get behind me? I was at the well and he just ran up to me, so I, I stopped drinking and got away from the well. I'm going to try and find the barn, I think. Day D me rolling. T R M Z love. There he is. Yeah, and for now, the best I can suggest is try the YouTube stream just temporarily, and then uh, hopefully it'll come back up. I don't really know what else to say. Because as far as I can tell, it's all working as it should. I'm going to eat lard for you, running man. Or eat lard for me? Well, if you want to. Don't, don't force yourself, though. 
is that the follow-up to I'd catch a grenade for you? Ten months. I'd even need lard for you. <laughs> it doesn't have quite the same ring to it. How do you like the Vigory Battle Royale servers? I, I've been, I enjoyed it, Crank. I had a couple of rounds last night off stream, you know. I hardly ever play Daisy off stream, so that says it all. I played two or three rounds last night. I had I had two top five finishes and got five kills in a couple of rounds out of three. Uh, didn't win one, though, but got to the last five twice and did all right. Uh, Brookie, thank you for the 19 months. Digipool, thank you. Zuper, thank you very much as well. Pew Pew, Sorak, Joe Squids, Felix, Mozaru, uh, Reverend Bellin, thank you very much for the resubs. Gia as well, thank you. The only other thing I can do is, uh, is stop the stream altogether and change my Twitch server. Sometimes if, like, I'll be streaming to the local server, like London or whatever, you know, I could change to stream to a European server or something and it might help, but... I don't know, it's it's a bit annoying. Cranky, yeah, uh, I've only got two wins. I've only been doing solo. I got two solo wins, one yesterday and one on Sunday. It's quite fun though. I do enjoy it. It's it's good. It, it's uh, it it's kind of fun. I enjoy, I am not going to lie. It's kind of it's kind of cool. I, I'm quite liking the battle royale. It may not be for everyone, but it, it's perfect. Like today, let's say we do the mouse for five hours and then I die. I'll switch to battle royale for a couple of hours. It's just a really cool thing to be able to do. Hey Noah, good day. Uh, how's the stream going? So far, so good. We've been chased by chased by a new spawn and shot them with a Peter. Uh, but yeah, we're doing all right. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything I can actually eat yet. No. So I'm hoping we can get away with this here, get the plus symbol, and then we can go down south. I think we might go to Tara Island. Cheers One for the year super ago, chat. Noah. I accidentally subscribed, and now I can't figure out how to turn off auto renew. <laughs> JKTRMZ love. Well, and long may that continue. Uh, cheers, cheers for the uh, not understanding the auto renewing inning. Thank you. <laughs> Is this hot? No, we can eat that one. I hate making a fire in this barn. There are worse places, but there are certainly better. TRMZ. How's the stream going so far? Just thinking, I'm sure I've been asked that question already, but yeah, that's just Robot Lady coming in with the late the late call out, isn't it? Thank you again, Noah. Cheers very much. Austin, thank you as well. My badge is finally square. Ooh. Why not use torch to defrost all the food in three seconds? Well I need to get the plus symbol anyway. Uh, and I, honestly, I think it's not really intended. I, I'm kind of hoping they take that out. The torch is ridiculously OP. It's kind of... It doesn't really hurt anyone, but it's kind of a slight glitch. It's not really that big of a deal, but... It's not really meant to defrost everything in three seconds. Same as, like, you can make a fire. If you put all your loot on the ground and then make the fire over it, it defrosts everything incredibly quickly, too. That's not intended. You know? And so I, I try not to... Uh, I try not to do it. Always a lot, didn't we?
Is it always this foggy? Uh, no, it's not. It depends on the server you play. If you're getting getting on PC, some servers have more or less fog than others. Uh, it really depends. Oh, I don't need that, do I? Oh, maybe. Maybe. I don't need that, do I? No, I don't need it. Uh, yeah, the uh, it's foggy on the mouse because it's a wintry map and it's it's foggy. If you're playing regular DayZ like Chernerus, if it's rainy, it's foggy. If it's clear, it's not. You know, it, it changes depending on the weather. So some servers have less fog. So, for example, if you get PC and you play on the day one servers, there's no fog. You can see you can see for as far as your PC allows, pretty much. You'll see no fog whatsoever. Uh, but if you play on an official server, you'll get fog that varies with the weather. So if it's really overcast and cloudy and rainy, then you're going to get fog and less visibility. Uh, what is the server? Visor, streamers don't give out what server they're on, dude. It just spoils the stream if, if I do, you know. We talking flashlight or fire torch? Uh, the, the handheld improvised torch, you can use it to uh, massively accelerate drying, drying shit out. It's not really that big of a deal. I ain't, I ain't judging. You know, if you do it, it's fine. It's just convenient. You know, nobody's getting extra kills because they dried their clothes a bit quicker, are they? You know, but it's an unintended thing. I think it's not not meant to be. Uh, so I, I try my best to not do things. As far as I can gather, for example, like the the rotten fruit. I think it's an intended game function that you can eat rotten fruit, but slowly. I think that's intended in the game, for example. But. Uh, I, d I certainly don't think it's intended that you can drop all your loot in a pile, build a fire on top of it, and then dry your stuff in seconds, when on the mouse it was actually set so that your stuff doesn't start drying out until the fire's at 300 degrees, you know, it's 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 clearly meant to be part of the game, that you... And I guess that's where the, the, the benefit is, yes, you're drying your clothes quicker, but if you use the correct amount of time to dry your clothes, and let's say it takes five minutes, that's five minutes where you've got to defend yourself against potential attack, you're more you're more susceptible to people catching up with you and stuff so it does give a benefit versus other players in as far as if you're glitching your clothes dry and whatnot I guess you're getting an advantage so there is a slight advantage for players that are doing it I suppose but my kind of uh, ethos for streaming has always been wherever I can to try and play the game as as it's meant to be and not utilize unintended glitches Yeah, apparently it's very laggy on Twitch. It's not on YouTube, which means my stream is fine. It must be the Twitch server. Lots of people are getting some lag on Twitch, guys. If you want to watch on YouTube for the time being, do that. Alternatively, hopefully it'll clear up. Other than that, I can go go and put my feet up and watch the telly if you like. The thing is, I, c I can stop the stream and try and find another Twitch server, but I, I don't know if I, I can't stop, I can't, I'll have to stop the YouTube stream as well. Is it happening on other streams then, or what? Oh, thank you, Welsh Blood. Don't stop the YouTube stream for Twitchy Twitchers. Well, uh, when we were first starting the YouTube streams, I was stopping the Twitch stream for the YouTube quality, so you'll have to take it both ways there, I'm afraid. <laughs> I've had the same problem on other streams too. Oh, okay. It might be depending on what area you're in, you're in. So if you're watching from a certain area, like some people aren't getting any issues on the, on the Twitch stream. So it might be if you're in a certain area using a certain exchange or whatever, like certain set of servers, I don't fucking know. See, that's the crazy thing, like, like, Dave Debate, like, literally two, we had one from Frankie Polo saying I was watching HB earlier, no problems, 
and then Dave the Bait, I was watching HB earlier, was getting buffering. So <laughs> I, I think we'll just carry on as we are for now. Sounds like a 90s Jane Fonda workout title, LUL. Fucking sucks, though. To die for. Glad to hear it. Well, I'll give it half an hour. If we're still getting people talking about stuttering, I'll perhaps switch, switch them both off. But it's a real pain in the ass to turn the stream off once I've started, for obvious reasons, you know? Like, it, it does cut the throat of the viewership. And it's kind of frustrating, so I'd rather not stop if I can avoid it. We'll just see how it goes. Brent, thank you for the subbing on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. P. Jason, thank you very much for the gifted membership on YouTube as well. Uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Please get that. Thank you very much. Uh, Rattle Woodwork, Chris, thank you very much for the new sub on YouTube and the resub on Twitch. Queen Collie, thank you for the bits. I mod for for an RE streamer and he's been having issues since the OBS update. Nothing he could do to fix it. Interesting. So I have done the OBS update. Maybe that that's something to do with it, perhaps. Thirty-five months of running. We is it time that you survive instead of respawning? P love you by T R M Z love T R M Z L U V. Is it time I survived? I always survive. I will survive. <laughs> Fuck! Look what you did, Alistair. That's your fault. That's your fault, that is. Now I'm bleeding. All Arista's fault is. Hashtag blame Arista. <laughs> I come and never check the watchtowers because it's a really dangerous area this and putting you back to everywhere on a ladder while you're defenseless is just not for me you do get loot you don't get loot on watchtowers on regular official servers or vanilla servers like Chernerus and Livonia and whatnot on the map but you do get loot in the watchtowers on this map but watchtowers as a rule in very dangerous areas the kind of area that I don't really want to be stuck on a ladder without a gun in my hands and no no ability to manoeuvre if I start getting shot at, you know. It, it's just not a good place to be for me. I think it's a mistake to go to go on them. If you're lone wolf, maybe if you're in a group it might be okay. But then you've got other people looking around and you've got other eyes and whatnot. But on, as a lone wolf I, I don't often go in the towers. Well that was good. Trying to hold that one. That's one speedy bastard zombie, isn't it? Fuck me. That'll uh, cut out some of my bright white. My very bright white hat. OZKP. Why is it my fault? I can't help that you can't play the game as an old man. I can play the game as an old man. R oh, look at that. I see, said the blind man. <laughs> you fuck off, Arist. <laughs> you fuck off. <laughs> I should have filled up this thing. I should have filled up the, the, uh, the canteen. When I was at the well and I was drinking, I'm sure there was about ten people going, Canteen! Canteen! I never used it, did I? What a mistake of a maker. Would I, for a beginner sniper, I don't think it makes much odds beginner or otherwise cranky. It's personal preference between the PU scope and the long range scope. But I would recommend whichever you find the scope to be. You know, that's your personal choice. But the Savannah is the worst of the snipers. So, like, well, the worst of the more powerful snipers. So firing 308 or 762 by 54. I forget the other number. I think it is. But the Mosin round is uh, this round. Uh, yeah, I got it right. 
of the powerful snipers, the Savannah is the worst in theory because it has like weird, weird weak, sorry, weird recoil, not weird weak oil. The recoil on the Savannah isn't ideal, and if you're a if you're a beginner or if you're not, being able to see where your bullet goes is quite important. So you can learn a lot How when you, when you take Chicago? your first shot. You need to be able to see where it lands to adjust for your second shot, right? So you can. You can change your range, you can change how much you're leading and whatnot, but with the Savannah you very rarely get to see where your shot goes because the recoil takes the scope so far away. Is it worth to drink the dirty water? Well, unless I'm incredibly unlucky, the vitamin should stop me getting sick, so in my case right now it felt worth it rather than just tipping it away, but uh, the vitamin is not 100% guaranteed to avoid you getting sick, but it should do. Howdy from Chicago, how you doing Kyle? Hope you're well. Thank you for coming in. Andorfet, you ran with Jinxie the other day. Very cool. Who's the streamer I'd love to bump into and run with that I haven't yet? Uh, well, I'm sure other people in the chat will have different answers to that, which will be interesting to see. But for me, I'd probably like to bump into Mr. Moon and have a run with him. That would be cool. Iodine tablets. No, in the game, it's uh, chlorine, uh, Josephia. So if you get chlorine tablets, you can purify water. Uh, in the game, you get iodine... Uh, like liquid, which you can use for other medical uses, but... Uh, thank you, Cranky. And Frank, as well. Yeah. If you like if you like the PU, you like the PU. You know, the PU is it's not as good at the extreme end of the range, but uh, it's a very good all-round gun. Uh, it's so, so good. Uh, sort of from here to the trees, it, it's, like, it's incredibly good. Uh, the only thing with the PU and one or two of the other scopes, the devs have added this horrible kind of, like, lighting effect to them. They re I hope they change it. it. Like, the PU's got, like, this really gr weird green twang, on, like, tint. It's horrible. Hoogan, uh, Twitch is playing up a little bit at the moment, dude, so uh, the, the feed on Twitch is a little bit glitchy, apparently. Mr. Towley, thank you for the bits. Uh, any day watching TRMZ is a good day. Well, thank you. So I am losing health at the moment. No! I... Uh, I think we could do with getting over there fairly sharpish. I need to make a fire as well, but we're going to have to do that after we've gone through here. This bit's a bit dangerous for make a fire. Uh, hello, Sneaky. Hope you're good. Yeah, I, uh, I'm losing health because of the cold. But for now, I think it's it's worth it to carry on. We might as well. That'll make fishing a little bit easier, won't it? Oh, I've really come a bit of a stupid way there, but never mind. FLDR, at what point is it safe? You just need to get the pot till you hear it bubbling, pretty much, and then it's fine, dude. So, if you boil the water to make it safe to drink, you need to wait till you hear it bubbling, so that you can hear the change, right? As soon as the pot starts bubbling away, you know you're in the clear, and then you can drink it. This is not necessarily the smartest spot to be doing this. Why was that not a... What the fuck was that? 
That should definitely have been a stealth thing, but anyway, never mind. Maybe I was a tiny bit far away, I don't know. If I fuck up that captain zombie, it could be a problem. You want the tree? You can't handle the tree. Has he heard me? I really thought I heard, heard a zombie aggro then. I don't know about these sunnies, let's take them off for now. Fuck me, they have they have got some fucking sonar on them, haven't they? Jesus Christ. I'm um, quicker cat crouch walking with trainers on. Fuck me, dead. <laughs> right, I'll put that on in a minute. I don't want that. I'll take that. What type of headset do you use? Uh, I have Steel Series. Want to know if I should upgrade? Should I mention the canteen? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, one second, Noah. Diesel, I thank you very much for the resub. Limondor, thank you. Too well. Hope you enjoy Prague. Cool place. Uh, Limondor, I'm sure it was fine. If it was bad, I would remember it like like annoyed. I don't remember it being annoyed, so it's all good. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, cheers for the support, dude. I use a really expensive pair Over of Sennheiser years headphones. Of glorious back seating, hard 75 inch, uh, watch movementing and whiskey discussing. They are very good, the headphones I've got. They're incredibly good, but they're like 1,300 pounds or something. They're cra I don't even know. But they're the Sennheiser HD 800s. Are they very good? Yes. Should you buy them what for PC gaming? No. Recommend. <laughs> I have a steel theory. Wanting to know if I should upgrade, should I mention the canteen tears of joy, tears of joy? Regan, thank you for the glorious back seating as well. Noah, thank you as well. So I use Sennheiser 8 HD 800s. Uh, before that, I had Sennheiser GSP 500s, which were gaming headsets. Sennheiser don't make gaming headsets anymore. They changed to another brand. And then that brand stopped making gaming headsets, which was an inspired move, I have to say. But if you've got a decent pair of gaming headset, uh, gaming headphones, uh, Steel Series are a good brand. You know, you're doing okay. There shouldn't be much reason to change. Uh, personal taste is is a, a thing, but I would always stay with wired headphones unless you absolutely need them to be wired. Wireless, sorry. Stay with wired because you're going to get better quality. If you buy £200 headphones and they've got a wire, you're getting better headphones. If you buy £200 wireless headphones, a good deal of the money is going into the wireless side of things, you know, so you're going to get better headphones if you stay with the wire. Right, common sense. Obviously, if you spend more money, that might change. Keep but, up the great content. Uh, I personally would go with that. Love. The only other thing to consider is if you want to get the best quality, you can get a separate microphone. It doesn't have to be expensive, but if you get a separate microphone, then you can buy any headphones. They don't have to be gaming. And if you buy, I don't know, a £150 pair of hi fi headphones, they're going to be infinitely better than pretty much any gaming headset for that price. And a gaming headset basically just means it's got a microphone built in, but the headset itself is normally uh, better if you buy Hi-Fi ones, you know. And then there's loads of great brands like Bayer or Sennheiser or lots of others too. You don't really get to write it. Well, you do, kind of, but you still have to earn the money. But I, and obviously the, the headphones I bought, I bought uh, on my business. But you do still have to pay for them. But it, you do get a little bit of the money back as a tax break, I suppose. But you do still have to pay for them. But let's say you're paying 40% tax. In a way, you get you get that much off, roughly.
I actually don't need to loot this, I don't think. I'm going to check the roofs for guns. I'm... Actually, maybe I should. I, I could do with a couple of bandages. Rags are fucking slow for bandaging, aren't they? I probably ought to make another fire as well. there was something up here with me. I couldn't understand where the footsteps were coming from. Well, that's annoying because I wanted to check the roof. I'll have to check the roof from the next building over. That roof can sometimes spawn loot. Guns. Leo, uh, unless they're broken, stick with them, I would. The, 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 the truth about... Uh, oh, God. Well, that didn't go well. I wanted that jacket. Yeah, I thought that was optimistic. The door's so fucky at the moment. They're really, really awkward. The doors on since 124 have been really awkward to, to uh, close. Like the, the movement around them has been weird. Am I looking forward to wireless monitors in the future? Uh, not really. It's not something that I'm desperate for myself personally. Like, Yeah, wireless monitor, like, I don't know. The reality is you can't send, volt send voltage wirelessly, right? So nothing wireless is ever wireless, right? You still have to get a mains power to it. And you can't send that wirelessly, so it's going to have to connect in some way. Unless it's powered by lightning or some shit, right? So uh, it's never truly wireless, is the, is the point. Uh, Kyle, thank you for the super chat. Love your streams. Keep running. Thank you. I'll do my best. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you very much. I used to really enjoy having those conversations when I worked in retail and somebody would come in and go, I'd like some wireless speakers, please. And then you'd explain that they still had to plug into their mains and they'd go, no, 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 my friend's got some. They're wireless. They're completely wireless. It's like... No, they're not. <laughs> they either take batteries and they don't sound very good, or they have to be mains powered. And they probably still don't sound very good, but they're the choices. My mouse is wireless and recharges through the mouse mat wirelessly. Ah, uh, crack 40. Wow, that sounds like next level. While it charges through the mouse mat, but you're also going to get you're going to get some kind of finger disease in later life caused by all the electricity tingling through your through your fingers. You're going to get mouse mat itis. Mouse map plugs in, yeah. Alf, of course it will, yeah. Unless he, uh, unless he has to like rub one off with it or something, and then it, that charges it up. But yeah, otherwise it's definitely needing to be plugged in still. You're right.
I know how they could do wireless monitors. They could they could uh, not have a mains lead, but then use like a cable that connects from the PC to power it, <laughs> thereby not needing a cable from the mains, but still need a cable from the PC. That would work, wouldn't it? That's ingenious. Uh, I, I'm not judging, by the way. I was talking about headphones, and we've got onto wireless. But if you like a wireless mouse, use a wireless mouse. You know, I I personally don't give two shits about a wire, so I don't. I I think a wireless mouse is a waste for me. I'd much rather not have a wireless mouse and not have any extra chance of any latency issues or any other things. Not have the chance that the battery will start getting flat halfway through a stream or whatever else. You know, same with headphones. You know. I use them every day. The one time I forget to charge them, I'll be bollocks and end up needing a spare or something. It's just much easier to have a wire, and then they work, uh, all, all being well. That aside, a, wire, a, a mouse never bothers me. It's, a, a wire on a mouse has never given me a problem at all. You just have a tiny bit of excess so that it never pulls tight, and it, that's it. <coughs> Damaged. Right. Can, oh shit, I'm yellow. I wanted to see what's on there, but I've, I've made the fire in my way. That was kind of stupid, wasn't it? So this will affect my health regen a touch. Well, exactly, DJ. I had more than enough latency issues for three years when I plugged the fucking wire into the wrong hole. <laughs> I don't need any more. But this should put me back to white blood again. So, I've taken my blood. Blood bags give you more blood. They give you an instant hit of extra blood. Whereas salines regen it over time. It makes your blood go up quicker over time. So by uh, doing it this way, we're getting some blood back, but having better blood for later, as it were. IRL, there's no such thing as a wrong hole. Hmm. Uh, I, I know some people that might might agree agree to disagree with you on that one. <laughs> uh, Trini Bob, thank you for the 37 months. Uh, know why you shouldn't go for a cheap cir cheap circumcision? Because they're nothing but a ripoff. <laughs> uh, Mr. Towley, thank you very much. Kyle, Deadly Sword, Noah, thank you very much as well. I'm actually uh, I'm actually playing through the pain to today. I, uh, I've got a slightly owie thumb, and it's my right thumb, which I use on the mouse. Obviously, it's my right, it's my mouse hand, but yesterday, uh, we took the dog round to the in-laws, well, my, my other half's parents, so my in-laws-to-be, uh, and he went a bit excited. We had him on the lead, but I had him, the lead in my hand, but I wasn't holding it properly, and he went shooting off to try and get something, and yanked my fucking thumb back really badly. <laughs> it hurts like fuck today. And thankfully, it's not bad. It's just like, I don't know, ligaments or muscular or whatever, but it's really achy. I've got an owie, and here I am, still streaming. Have I thought of getting a wireless thumb? I nearly had one yesterday, American Much Moon. Much love from Western Supermare. Why don't we just build a perpetual motion machine, but wireless? I, like I was saying last week, I, I nearly invented one with a sack barrow, uh, but it wasn't quite perfect. Crap. Did I check the roof? I think I already checked the roof, didn't I? You used to get weapons here, but I don't think you do so much anymore. I'm going to end up landing on that. Oh no, I did it. That's good. Uh, 
Uh, I don't use re Restream, Spenny. I don't use Restream. I use a plugin for OBS. Using Restream's not such a good plan. It, it, it doesn't do much for you quality-wise if you can avoid it. So I just use OBS with a, a plugin that allows me to stream. Uh, I'm streaming to YouTube at something like 18,000 kilobits per second, so the YouTube stream is higher resolution and higher bitrate. Bangs, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the resub. Much love from Western Supermare. I went there once. Ever again. It was alright. <laughs> I don't remember it very much, to be honest. Oh, I don't need two blood bag kits, do I? Am I kidding? So the stuttering might have cleared through by the sound of it. That's good news, then. I'm glad, glad to hear it. I wonder if the loot economy of Namau's changed a bit, because you definitely used to get snipper rifles up here, and now you... Oh, there is a gun there with a scope. It's got a long-range scope on it as well, so we're going to have to go there then. So you still can... That might be a carbine. It was quite short. I think it's a car, CR527. But it's still worth having, so we definitely need to go and grab it. Do they have a TRMZ zombie magnet mod on this server? Happy no. streaming. It's just my Hope great. You win days today. My All great big it. fucking glodop as it is. Liquid, thank you very much for the 19 months, dude. Thank you. Oh, bollocks. I'm definitely aggroing them. Let's just go in. I would like a bandage or two. There seems to be an abs. Oh, there's one. There seems to be an absolute piss load of uh, like blood bags and sailing kits. Finally, we found a bandage. It's all in the wrong place. Have I seen what happened to HB? No, what happened to HB? <laughs> You've written it in such a way that I'm now... I hope he's alright. <laughs> he's alright, is he? Two guns up here. A Tundra? A Tundra and a Sporter. Wow. Click that link. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to show it right now. Click the link. Click the link in the Twitch chat. That is pretty funny. I'll try and show it later, but I'm a little bit not very safe right now. Even I was playing it last night. I, 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 my missus went to bed relatively early, and instead of watching the latest episode of Shogun, or... Uh, <laughs> Or whatever else I fancy. Oh, fuck that. I, uh, I, I had a couple of rounds last night off stream, and I, I rarely ever play DayZ off stream nowadays. 
So that's a good sign, I think. And I love DayZ, it's my favourite game, but it's rare that I need to play it off stream because I play it loads, you know, I, I get my fix. Ishmezra and I did a trio. How'd it go? You wouldn't be mentioning it if you hadn't a one. That's my prediction. <laughs> Died to the circle. Should have got a car. That's HB's major weakness, I'd say. He doesn't understand the transport. Fine. Right, now we need some we need some bullets for this tundra. There was bullets on the other one, but I don't think they were they were tundra bullets. Like the look of that tundra, it looks good, doesn't it? Looks really good. Sweet. has been relatively successful I would say we've uh, managed to get a tundra we've got a long range scope we've got a few more shotgun shells we're, we're, we're fairly close just need to get a box of 308 and I'm alright I also need a vest but we ain't going to get one of those here I don't think yeah I think the, the battle rail is very good it's, it is well made I know some people don't enjoy watching it the same as survival, but I kind of like in, like playing it. That's kind of good. The geezers remember that Daisy BR is older than the standalone game. Yeah, it is. Not by much, though. Ah, oh, God, I've let my tea get cold. Mario, well, once you once you start getting the odd top ten, they do kind of come together. With all of these things, there's a little bit of luck involved. I, I had a run on a vanilla one yesterday, and I only had a VSS near the end. That's the only gun I had. And I, I managed to get five kills, and I finished fifth. But the VSS is that little bit weaker. You end up spraying a dude, and then I've got like ten bullets left in the mag, and they're, at best, maybe less. And then another guy shows up. You, you can't get reloaded in time. So Sometimes you go to the final zone, and you've got two assault rifles and plenty of mags and other times you've just been unlucky and you've got a shit gun and that's it. Isn't Daisy Survival older than Standalone Daisy 2? Of course, yeah. I Daisy Daisy as a mod is older than Battle Royale because uh, the Battle Royale was inspired by Daisy Survivor games. So Daisy's still the daddy. Uh, Daisy's still the daddy, don't you worry. But Battle Royale is maybe the uh, the mummy. Big Phil, thank you very much for the three months. McLeanger, thank you very much for the support as well. Dude, thank you. What's with the lag today? Chicken, there's some issues on Twitch. It's not running brilliantly well. Most people have been improving with it, but it seems like you're not. What do mammies and daddies do? Argue. <laughs> get upset about whose turn it is to get a new toilet roll. Uh, Curtis, thanks for coming in. I hope you're good. Uh, I was early yesterday, so it evens out in the end, okay? So, my main reason for coming here is the potential for bullets, normally on the crane, but sometimes on the top floor of that as well. About time you showed up, lol. Hope you are well and have an amazing stream. 
Thank you very much, Curtis, dude. Cheers for the support, man. Thank you. What I need is I need myself a little press vest or something. I think we're out of the frying pan into the fire with those. I've got quite a few rags, so I can always wear rag boots if needs be. I'm not really trying to get to Lantia today. I'd like to do Athena 3. But while we're here, I just thought we might as well have a look. You never know, we might find a filament or two. That's handy. We need one of those. <coughs> if I don't have night vision, how else will I see in the dark? So usually if there's bullets, they're on the top floor on that side, so hopefully we might get a box. Typically I've found a box of Mosin rounds already. Oh, there's this a gun. This message is not in English. Hello? And bullets, but the wrong kind. Well, my, my guy really likes that Tundra, doesn't he? Declan, uh, ahoy hoy. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Very kind. Uh, not in English, eh? That's a fucking scope sight, pistol sight shitter. What's that? Uh, I think they're Mosin rounds, but I'm going to have to check. Oh my god, that's a lot of Zeds. Utilize them for uh, there's a lot of Zeds here. I think Thanks somebody else is nearby. Great streamer. Makes up for then lack of aim lol. Oh thank you. I, I like all these massive compliments I'm getting. Thank you. Fuck me dead. You have to have thick skin to be a shit streamer, you know. I have every set of me. Like morning TRM bed, lol. Cheers for the support. Uh, Connor, thank you for the resub. Uh, Curtis, I have every certain I have every certain needs like morning. Like morning TMZ. Oh dude, thank you for coming in, dude. I think I, I know what you mean. Um I'm glad to be fulfilling those needs. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. I don't normally bother trying to be stealthy with the Zeds, but when there's this many, it seems more worthwhile. I am a little worried. This seems an excessively large amount of Zeds. And I bet these are fucking Mosin rounds. They didn't look yellow. Oh, they might be yellow. It might be a golden ticket. We've got a golden ticket. Yes. Yes. I knew they were yellow. Told you, didn't I? <laughs> That's good news. Now we just need a vest. Now to ruin my gloves. I ought to have a bit more of a look for a filament, but like I was just saying, I really can't be Man, fucked. Lantia three is cool. Years of and all. the game for me. Rather than playing Daisy, I watch you doing it for us. <laughs> Fumble. Well, thank you Thanks very much. 
to many more. Uh, cheers for coming in. I'm glad to glad to be of service. That's good. That's good. I needed something on my feet. That'll do. Uh, thank you very much, Fumble. Cheers for the support, dude. Fireworks. Hmm. Might as well use this while we've got it, mightn't we? Picked up the wrong one. More vitamins. My other stack. There they are. I don't think it's going to get me the plus symbol, this. Sup, sup. Maybe if we get lower down to sea level, it'll make us that little bit warmer, I suppose. I don't know. Oh, it's a bit, uh, a bit fucking shitty visibility, isn't it? Not going to do much sniping in this. Uh, Ryu, thank you very much for coming in. Sup, dude? Uh, thank you for coming in. What's a good map for beginners? Dapper, I think the best map to start on. It's a big map, but it's Chernerous. Other people might feel otherwise, but... Uh, a lot of the maps, like Namask, like I'm on now, it's much harder. You, you'll learn a lot, but it's much harder than, than Chernerus. Uh, Chernerus is the best map to learn all of the basics of DayZ. On Chernerus, you're going to learn all, all about survival, looting, zombies, like travelling and whatnot. I, I, I definitely think Chernerus is the best map to learn on, and it's also the OG map, so it's a good map to know. Uh, if, it, if I were you, I'd stick to no modded servers for a little while. Just play no modded vanilla, either on official or spaggy servers, for example, of vanilla. St just avoid the mods just for a little while, because then you'll get an understanding of what the base game is and how to play it. And if you're okay at the base game, you'll be better at the modded version as well, you know. So you might as well do a bit of, a bit of both. Bronk, it, it definitely does get you the plus symbol, although I haven't played it in a while, but I'm pretty certain it does still get you the plus symbol. I think I've done it, even though I haven't played it that much, but I think I've still done it fairly recently. Is it a bit to the outpost or the sub in your future? I'm not sure. I'd like to go to Lantia. It's better to have headphones than... Uh, sorry. It's better for headphones. It's better to have night vision. Oh, nice. Why will that not go in there? It used to, anyway. I'll do that. Yeah, better have night vision to do Athena 2 and Athena 3, that's for sure, but I ain't gonna worry about it too much. I'll just uh, I'll just go with what I've got, I think. So, if we get an event, I'm going to Athena 2. Otherwise, I might go to an outpost if we don't get an event. Do I still have my matches? No, I dropped them, but I've got a lighter, so I, I dropped them on purpose. I meant to drop them already and forgot, so... When is Daisy 2 coming out? Oh. I, I think that the announcement that they're going to make is going to be an update to this game in some way, at some point. Uh, I don't think... The big announcement is going to be a new map and new DLC, I believe, personally. I've got no insider information yet. I'm hoping to get some. <laughs> but I'm hoping to get some in May, but I haven't got any yet. Uh, obviously, I won't be able to share any that I get, but nonetheless, I, my, my guess is that it's going to be a new DLC and a big update of some sort at some time. Hopefully this year. But they, I feel like Daisy 2, as much as I would love it to be Daisy 2, I think it might be a bit, a bit of a way off. Maybe uh, Daisy 2 might be... Uh, three, four, five years down the line, to be honest. Do I think there's going to be an experimental patch before May? I hope so, yeah. Like, 124 was a first patch of the year. If they're going to do four patches this year, there's probably one due soon. Quite often they have an experimental patch over Easter. I'm getting encoding overloaded again. For fuck's sake, it's such a pain in the ass. this. So I just got a stutter just then. Like... OBS and NVIDIA need to fucking sort themselves out, for Christ's sake. 
How do you know if there was an elephant in your fridge? Footprints in the butter. Uh, footprints in the butter. Blimey. I, I think five years is maybe a far way off, but I hope there's a zombie update. I, they, I don't think the zombie update, they've not talked about it anymore. They did at the start of last year, so I don't know, but I, the AI needs an update. What's on the menu for Easter dinner? I don't know. Liverpool versus Brighton is on the menu for my Easter Sunday. Uh, we'd, I, I don't think we'll be having a roast. My, my mum's doing a roast. Uh, but my sister's down for the weekend. My mum's like, I don't know. It's a bit tricky if she's got, if she's got my sister, a husband, and two kids, and then me and my, my missus and my two kids. I, I don't really want to put loads of pressure on her. So I, we're, we're not going on the the roast day. We're going on Saturday. Oh, well, this is a bit bleak, isn't it? Fucking hell. I think Armour 4 probably will come out first prog champ, but uh, Armour 3 and DayZ weren't that far apart. They can make them independently, you know, it's not the same dev team, you know, so I would imagine that development Happy on DayZ 2 will have started the very second the spine of the engine was ready, you know, like, I would imagine DayZ, de the work on DayZ 2 will have started at some, this is all speculation of course, they may never make DayZ 2 for all we know, but I would guess that once they thought the spine was ready to, to start developing on, they would have done it. And that could have been two or three years ago, for all we know. You just don't know. Take them all out for a roast. Well, I do that quite a lot, Fubar, believe it or not. Well, we do that, but my mum's had the lamb in the, lamb in the freezer since, uh, like, February. She's already got the meat for it. Everyone has Easter ham. Lamb is the most common meat. Well, it's not common, but roast lamb is the traditional Easter meal in, in the UK, at least. Why am I not getting warmer? It's almost like I'm fucking bugged. It's crazy. Why was Armour Reforger such a failure? It's not really a game. So, Armour Armor Reforger is like a playable demo that you buy. So, it's like a development tool that allowed them to make some more money. That's it. it I wouldn't worry about whether it's a success or a failure. It's not really a game, is it? You know? Where did the rags go? Oh, God, that's annoying. It's just not getting me warm enough, this broom. It's fucking terrible. Ether. Paul the First, I'm an Everton fan. Can we get along? Zany face. Hope you have a lovely Easter. Uh, no, thank you very much for the support, dude. Happy Easter. Yeah, I think we can get along, dude. I don't hate Everton. I'm, I'm not a... Uh, I'm not a scouser as such, but I, I I don't I don't hate Everton. I don't want them to get relegated, for example. I'd rather they didn't. Uh, I'd quite like Everton to stay up. I think they were a mainstay of the Premier League, right? Or the top division, whatever you want to call it. I don't really have the whole uh, hatred for Everton. I like like. 
if you if I could choose between sorry Man U fans like if I could choose between Man U or Everton getting relegated obviously there'd only be one choice stream, she asked me if I was watching the nature documentary on Netflix tears of joy tears of joy tears of joy no way yeah nature nature documentary uh, wild running mans slaughtered by noobs uh, Thank you very much, Noah. Leadership, thank you for the follow on YouTube. Nultal, thank you for the super chat. Caitlin, thank you for the gifted subs. Cheers for the gifted member innings. Thank you. That's very kind, Caitlin. Uh, thank you. Catalan, sorry. Catalan Coza. Thank, thank you very much. Not Caitlin. My bad. Sorry about that. Catalan Coza, thank you very much. Chloe, uh, I won an only cup. Ragaluna, cheers for the support as well. And Me and the wife Basil, watch every day HS. while thank I watch you for the low. On console trying, finally meeting some lads, building some friends, enjoy your content and that weird killer voice. Have a great day. <laughs> Yoda, thank you. <laughs> Cheers for coming in, dude. I appreciate it. Ouch, rethinking sub. Cold Trust. I'm presuming you're a Man U fan, right? But if you could choose one club to get relegated, Cold Trust, you'd be picking between City and Liverpool, right? Of course you would. Any prediction for the Euro 24? England are going to win it. Obviously, I don't really believe that, but they've got a chance. I've got, I'm going to say England, just because I'm, I, I want them to win it. England have got the players to win it, but whether they will or not is uh, tricky. They've just had two amazingly good games where they played outstandingly well against Brazil and Belgium, so I think they've got it in the bag. <laughs> uh, I, I think England have got a good chance. I think France are going to be incredibly dangerous, obviously. They're, it'll be all the regular teams, I suspect, but... I, one thing, I, I watched the second half of the football yesterday. I think Phil Foden and Jude Bellingham look really quite potent for England attacking. I think Phil Felden and Jude, ben Jude Bellingham, they're two of the best attacking midfielders on the planet right now. And I think that could be really exciting. You know, I, I think England have got... The biggest problem for England is the defence and arguably the goalkeeper. It's whether they can... If the defence can hold out, but I'd, we'll see. We'll see. Do I ever love you by in real life? Uh, me and the missus say it to each other sometimes, yeah. Quite a common saying in the UK, though. Dwight, thank you for the subbing. Thank you for becoming a member on YouTube. Thank you very much. Croatia is going to win the Euros. Well, I admire your confidence, Adriano. I think Croatia has been a great team, but I think... Uh, from what I remember, like people like Modric and a lot of the best Modric, a lot of the best players are kind of on the wane, you know, like, I don't know, you, you may have a load of good new players coming through, but I think Croatia's best chance was when they were in the final before, uh, when they deservedly beat England. I, uh, I don't know, I don't know. L lots of teams are in with a chance, like, teams like Croatia definitely have a chance, that, that's the, the good thing with stuff like the Euros, it, the Euros throws up the odd winner over the years, like Denmark, like Germany, I nearly said Germany then, sorry, like Greece. It throws up the odd winner you weren't expecting. By me, yeah, I think England going forward is very exciting, but England at the back, I don't know. What happened to John Stones yesterday? Did he get injured or did he just come off? It was one-time luck with Greece, Mike, but Denmark have also won the Euros, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, the Euros sometimes throws up a winner that's not one of the top teams. If you go back through the last, I don't know, 30 or 40 years of World Cup winners, it's always one of the not ones you expect. But if you go back through the same period in the Euros, you'll see a few surprises. You rarely get a surprise in the World Cup. You do in the, in the Euros. Like, it's not just Greek. They weren't the only time that's happened. It's happened more than once, you know. So is John Stones out for a while now, is he? Because he's England's best defender, certainly mid-centre defender by a mile. So someone's saying John Stones went off as a precautionary measure. Someone else is saying done his adductor. I don't even know what an adductor is. England also have a try. It's nice, nice try, Plastic Baby. I ain't going to get caught by that fishing. Uh, 
I think it's your encoding that's been messing with the picture. Other streams fine. I don't see how it would be doing that on Twitch and not YouTube crowd control. The only thing I might do that other streamers might not is stream at a slightly higher bitrate on Twitch, but I, I, maybe it's causing issues. But I, I don't think it is crowd control. I can, I can see I'm getting no dropped frames. Everything on my stats are amazing, and YouTube, which is running at a higher bitrate, is working fine at the same time. So how I can be fine on YouTube and not fine on Twitch when Twitch is the primary stream platform makes more, no sense. And other people were saying they were getting issues with other streamers today, dude, so... Dwight, thank you for the sub -ending. Thanks again, dude. Uh, Yatesy, I should be streaming... Cheer one. I, Good ne show, next week, boy. Next week, strictly PRM speaking, I'm off. Love. But uh, I may well be streaming on Monday and Tuesday, but there's no guarantees with that. So we'll have to wait and see. But in an ideal world, next week, I'm, my kids are here on Friday for a week, so I should be off, but I'm going to try and fit in two streams. And it, there's just, I don't believe there's anything in my encoding that's different to yesterday. It's the same stream. <laughs> I've not done anything different. And like, I literally get a dropped frame counter, which is if I'm sending anything incorrectly, it, had, it shows. And I've dropped zero frames for the whole stream. None. Uh, Super Noodle Sandwich, thank you very much for the resub and the bits. That's very, very kind. Thank you. I'm just waiting for the server to come back. Uh, I did see that ash. It, they, they were uh, a lot of the people in the studio were wearing those blue sat, blue flowers. It, I think the charity is Alzheimer's Society, which is a similar similar one, you know, that equally as important. Same same course, you know. But the blue flowers that they were wearing, and I think it was, but it, it was all related to Alzheimer's, which is a cool thing, you know. But they all had no names on their shirts because of that yeah I, I didn't realize to be honest but when at half time I saw they were all wearing blue flowers and then I had to little read up on what it was because honestly I didn't know what the blue flower symbol was for so I had to go and have a look uh, Jan thank you for the for the sub That's the other thing that's weird. Some people aren't getting any stutters, right? If it was my, if it was my feed that was causing it, there wouldn't be anybody that didn't have stutters, right? If it's me sending the signal badly, there wouldn't be an issue where some people are getting it and some people are not. That's not possible, you know? If it's my upload, it's bad for everyone or, or not, you know? It can't be bad for some and not others if it's my side that's causing it. Uh, you dropped Spain really quickly. I haven't dropped anyone, Adriano. I, I don't think Croatia are likely to be doing any, any winning, dude. Modric may well be his last one, but I, I, I just don't see it. I think if Croatia were going to win it, it would have been in one of the more previous ones. They, they, they had a better chance before than they did now. You know, like, like just, just take England against Croatia, you know, like, when, when you beat us in the, the semis of the World Cup, your team was younger and better than it is now. And England have now got players like Phil Foden and Jude Bellingham to add to the team that they didn't have then, you know, that they didn't have ready to play. Like, England have improved since then. Croatia have not. I, I just don't see it, dude. That doesn't mean that other teams won't win it. I think France are a, France would be my pick if it wasn't England. But there's like, like, like I said, lots of the regular teams, all of the regulars, will have a shot. And all of the regulars include Spain, you know, that, that's what I was meaning. Like the regular teams, there's always sort of six to eight teams, you know, like the, the, the regulars, uh, like teams, teams like Spain, as a rule, teams like Spain, Germany, uh, Italy, like Portugal and so on. 
France, England, Netherlands. All of the regulars are all going to have a chance, aren't they? And that's the thing. Germany are, at, Germany are at home. The Euros are in Germany. They've been terrible. But exactly like you say, they'll probably go and fucking win it, won't they? Joe Biden stutters and he's president of the United States. <laughs> Don't know what to say to that. Let's just not go to politics, okay? If we do, then typical slacker gets a 10-minute timeout. No politics. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, typical slacker. Super noodle, thank you again. Is it dark in my office? Uh, how do I see at night? It's not that dark in the game, dude. It's, it's, I see at night by a combination of the fact that it's not actually that dark and also I know the map really well. Uh, I agree. I agree, Super. I, I think uh, I think the, the goalie is okay. He's he's played well for England, Pickford, you know. In an England shirt, he's played okay. And likewise, Stones and Maguire. Stones is a very good player, right? But Maguire for... Oh, fuck. Maguire for Man United is not Maguire for England. I, I If they stay fit, they'll be all right. Are they the best centre-back pairing in the tournament? No, but they'll, they'll be okay. It depends who we've got. Like you say, the defence is poor, but at fullbacks we've got we've got a lot of good fullbacks, a hell of a lot. So the biggest problem, like you say, is is centre back and goalie. I, I'm if we've got the best players available, I think it'll be okay. Like I I think uh, Maguire in an England shirt is fine. International football isn't the same as playing in the Premier League week in week out, and he's been good in it. He's been one of England's better players very often. The other thing to bear in mind as well is when we're talking about seeing in the dark, if you're watching on a phone or a tablet, you're not seeing it like people are on a PC monitor, you know, like phones and tablets aren't like first thing you should do if you're watching a stream at night time and you're on your phone or a tablet, just turn your brightness up to max. You'll be fucking stunned at what a difference it makes. And that's just showing you that it's your device that's causing after problems, you know. I can see a lot better than you might realise. Maguire's had a decent enough season, Lacho. I, I felt sorry for Maguire last year. I got a lot of stick. I, like, Man United have all sorts of problems and he was taking the blame for all of it, it felt. But I think Maguire's alright. <laughs> did I get invited to the 10-year anniversary event? I did, Faini, yes. I am going to... I am going to Prague in May. I'm looking forward to it. Oh shit, one reason why you might not be seeing so well is I've not put the gamma up. <laughs> I had it up before the server restart, but I haven't put it back up again, which that, that might not help. But what you were seeing just then is more like what I'm seeing. Now you're seeing like 20 25% more brightness. looking for a filament. I don't, I don't really want to bother it. Oh fuck, but fuck looking for a filament. We'll go up to the other area and I'll try and find myself a vest. There's there's a couple of bits here where I might find a vest. On that subject, let's just have everything out of here a sec. And let's put it back, not in here. That will keep there. I can probably drop that. If I find a stab vest, I'm going to want to use it. It's just on, off with the purpose. A couple of places around here that we could potentially get a vest. Ah! 
there's a green PD shed over this way. there was another one coming, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have run. I wouldn't have hit him. Just waiting for my stamina to charge up, and then we'll uh, go out swinging. Which, which really helped. Finding a great deal of loot here. <coughs> Lacho, there, there's a lot of things at United. I haven't watched a lot of United this season. Not as much as I just don't get to watch the the football as much as I would like. I've seen little bits, but uh, Maguire is not a back four player in an incredibly high line. Like I don't know how United have set up this season, but. He's not. He struggled with United's style of play. One thing that that uh, we haven't seen from Southgate in a while, and we might see in the tournament. I'm not saying it's a good idea, but Southgate has very often preferred a back five. Uh, he may not go with that anymore. He he, he may not. We'll we'll see. But uh, in a back five, he's always done very well. You know, like in a in a team that plays in a different way. Like if if you've got three holding mid defenders, as it were, he's he's tended to do okay. But I wouldn't be surprised if Southgate ends up playing defensively. Like, like unfortunately, our, our main strength is attack. But oh, I already looted this, didn't it? Like, without doubt, England's attack is their strength. You know, their ability to score goals is the thing that they've got. But what do you do? Do you do you go out all out attack and try and beat teams four three or three two or whatever, or do you try to keep it tight at the back and use your attacking players to make the best of the few moments that they get? You know, like the the fan in me wants them to go and monster teams but the reality is that's not what happens in international football it's very rare you get the odd crazy result where someone gets beat 6-1 or something you, know, you get the odd cr but normally the games are tight as fucking arseholes and semi-finals and finals are decided by the odd goal or penalties and whatnot just like that game yesterday between Wales and Poland you know like most of the time when it, when it really really matters it's incredibly tight and then playing defensively to make sure you don't let goals in is not always a bad choice you know like I think he'll probably play sensibly and maybe it'll be the wrong decision maybe it'll be the right one McGriar is shit in every possible way eh, all right I don't think he's that bad I'm not saying he's world-class or anything but I don't think he's as bad as a lot of people have been making out And there's plenty of centre backs you'd rather have than Maguire, of course, but he's not he's not terrible. He just isn't. We need to start dropping some shit to be honest. I didn't get to see the game, I only know the result. I, I watched the second half of the England game. And then I, I'm on Freeview, I haven't got Sky. I couldn't even work out where S4C is, so I didn't watch it. So the uh, the Wales game was on Channel 4 Wales. And, and I, I don't even know where that is. Or S4C, whatever. Did I kill that one? I didn't kill that one, did I? Hello? Hello! I thought there was somebody here. You're right. 
You all right? Yeah, I'm not looking for any trouble, dude. You're okay. I just saw a dead zombie and was thinking that I somebody mean, was here. All right, I'm gonna. I'll leave you to it, dude. Don't mind how you go. Please don't take all of the zeds. Taking all of the zeds. Is that not the one I hit the first time? Then? No, it wasn't, clearly. There's an event happening right now and I'm fucking miles away. I wanted to go I wanted to go to Athena, but I've got no chance. I haven't got a gas mask, in fact I I haven't oh that's annoying. I've not even thought about it. I need a gas mask in order to go to Athena. I've turned down a filter down there. I didn't even pick the fucking thing up. Ugh, that's so stupid. He sounds vulnerable. He did sound a bit vulnerable, didn't he? I, I helped him out a bit, took a couple of his zombies. The problem with this is that we might not get another event for hours. I guess I'm just not ready, but what's annoyed me really is I, I probably can't do this event anyway. But I've seen a gas mark and I've seen filters and I didn't pick them up. For, I don't even know what I was thinking. Hi Joe Mato, how you doing? Hope you're good. Hold your breath. Yeah, that's the idea. That'll that'll solve it. At least we got a stab vest. to defrost the water. I could use the cooking pot, but probably not much point, really. We might as well just do this. Oh, I suppose I ought to keep the knife. Uh, noob, thank you. Noob Dad Gaming, thank you. I enjoyed the shout casting. It was fun. It was a cool thing to do. Next, that can go back. That can go in there. I think we've probably got a few too many rags. Let's just get rid of some. The mouse was not created by John McClane. No, the mouse was created by Sumrak, who works for Daisy. So Sumrak. Uh, made the original the mouse mod. Boy, I had a door opening. Sumrat made the original the mouse mod for Armour 2 and then redeveloped it entirely for uh, for Daisy as it is now. But he was already working for Daisy then, so he got he got a job as a map creator originally at, at Daisy because he'd made the mouse. That's that was his route into working for Bohemia. Which is kind of cool, you know, like just 
does kind of show what can happen. Like people such as John McClane and all the other guys making maps. You know, it may may end up leading to a career in map making, map design down the line. Chabaz, thank you very much for the support. Cheers, cheers for coming in, dude. Thank you. Uh, just make the bear ghillie suit. You'll be golden. Hmm. Unfortunately, the bear ghillie suit is only on Deer Isle. I wish it was on, on this. So I've not put that on there yet, because it this right now it's just warming me up a bit quicker. But if I put it on there, it won't. To be fair, actually, probably doesn't matter anymore. Like now, I don't think it has any heat value added. Like, if you cover on that now, it's, it's not giving me any heat. That is 80 degrees. That is not. How does John McClane make money? Uh, I don't think most map creators are doing it to make money, dude. But John McClane streams on Twitch. You can watch him stream on Twitch. You, can, you absolutely support map creators as best as you can. So... Uh, tipping uh, tipping a map creator is not much different to subbing to a streamer, you know. If you're, if you're really enjoying Deer Isle or Alteria or whatever else, you know, try to support the creator of the map that made it, you know. Like, it doesn't mean it have to be crazy money, but if you can support a map... If you can buy Livonia for 11 bucks, you can maybe send, I don't know, John McClane 5 bucks, you know. <laughs> it seems fair enough, but yeah, support the map creators in some way would be the, would be a good thing to do. UNCC 49ers, thank you very much for the two months. Loot Vegetable, thank you. Shabazz, thank you for the support as well. Have I tried Scum? Uh, yes, I played it a little bit. Scum's pretty decent. Uh, I really love Daisy's immersion and it's more more like sort of storytelling, you know. Daisy does more of the immersion and it, it feels more survivally. I feel more like I'm in an adventure when I play Daisy. But Scum has got some good parts. There's a lot of uh, add, like extra things, a lot of more toys, bells and whistles in Scum. Fucking hell, come on. I need you both in. Daisy just feels more like I'm in something, you know, like I feel more, it feels a bit more authentic, somehow. Sorry, Leah, see the pin message. I know there's buffering. Uh, Bronx kindly pinned a message, but there's no buffering on YouTube. I don't know what to tell you. I could try, I, I just... I, I Rob, just why don't you just do yourself a favour and stop picking on volunteers, right? That would be a good idea. Like, just just chill out or go away, one or the other. But Lady Pigster is absolutely vital to the YouTube chat. It's probably the most active YouTube mod, I would say. And what what they what Lady really needs is like some douche just winding her up constantly, you know, like. Winding them up constantly, you know? Just, like... Chill! If you have a message deleted, just move on. Do I ever play RP servers? I don't know. No, I don't. I, uh... I'd not... I, I played a little bit years ago in the red zone. I even played Daisy RP a little bit, but... RP and me don't go. I like to play... And, and like having adventures with people, but I don't like RP, it just feels a bit forced. So I had a lot of fun playing Daisy Underground, for example, but you'd meet some people that were playing as a character and you'd meet some people that weren't, but it was still no rules, you could do what you liked, you know. It, RP feels a little bit prescriptive to me, I'm, I'm not a huge fan, personally. 
The thing with the thing that's cool about Daisy is you can make fun of most encounters. You can enjoy most encounters. Right? So you can have an encounter with someone and you can have fun with it because of what you do, you know? Like you could meet someone and you can team up or you can meet someone and not or whatever. But with RP, if you have a fun time or not, it depends whether the other person's good or good at RP. You know, you can have you can have fun playing with somebody at Daisy. They don't have to be good at Daisy. It doesn't matter. You know, you can have a fun team up with someone that's new to the game. It's really fun. But if you're playing an RP server, whether it's good or not, is really dependent on whether they're good at RP or not. And that takes... it's just not for me. I quite like the BR map. Uh, I've been playing a bit of that. Will we ever get a night stream? The latest I'm likely to go is midnight on a Monday, pretty much. Actually taking a bit of a risk here. I'm, I'm a little bit in the open. The event could actually happen. Be our kill interaction. Well, depends what you mean by interaction. Like sometimes interaction is fun with bullets, Garrett. I don't think anybody's playing VR so they can have a chat. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't think. What the fuck is this? I think the pictures are wrong, but that's, that's weird. Oh, that's good. If you mean night time in the game, this is definitely night time. <clears throat> I've only seen your name on tablets of ancient times. Very touche, Dan. <laughs> I think we should use this and try and get there because I'm a bit worried this event's going to happen and I'm going to be stuck. I'm not even going to check that hunting stand. I'm just going to get cracking. There's no trader on this server, Moonlander. I don't play on servers with traders. Nighttime feels like it's gone for a while, doesn't it? It seems seems quite long. Pancho, very cool. Uh, at least you found out what it is. I, Seikos aren't known for being like incredibly expensive on the aftermarket, unless it's a Grand Seiko, I suppose. But that's not like my favourite watch. I've, my two favourite watches are not expensive. My I got my dad in about 2010. I bought him a Raymond Well watch when I got married. Now I'm now divorced. The, the marriage bit is irrelevant, but I bought. He was my best man. We got married on holiday, and uh, I got I got my dad a watch, and so he wore that for the last 10 or 12 years of his life, and so that's my that's really important to me. And then also the G-Shock that I gave him that he wore in the last year. You know, I fucked this up then. I ain't gonna make it. Or maybe I am.
Just ban Rob Russo. Just don't don't waste your time on it. It's not worth it. Like, who the, who the fuck goes into a stream to just argue with the mods? It's so pointless, right? If you have your message message deleted, you haven't been violated, all right? Just move on with your day. Even if you disagree with it, all you're doing is carrying on. What's the point, you know? Just move on with your day. If you want to fight the world over a deleted message in a chat room, you're not having the best of times, I, I would imagine. Right. Guys, I, I'm, I'm fed up of people seeing people... Sorry, this is, this is not related to Rob, by the way. <laughs> people are obviously not, like, not understanding there's not little I can do about the Twitch stream breaking up. I'm going to try and stop and Twitch to another, switch to another Twitch server just to see if it helps, but this is really frustrating <laughs> because I've now been streaming for two hours and now I'm going to cut the throat of the stream and I don't think it's going to make any difference, but I'll give it a whirl. Uh, I'll be back in two or three minutes. It might help if I change to another Twitch server. That could potentially help. So uh, I'll, I'll be back in five minutes or so. I'm also getting encoding unloaded. I might have a look at that as well. Uh, Joseph, thank you very much for the for the tip. That's very, very kind. Just Cheers for the support. For the good vibe. Daddy, thank Cheers you for the 26. Gnarly, uh, thank you very much for the resub as well. I'll be back in five minutes. On YouTube, guys, it'll have to start as a separate stream. So on YouTube, I'll be on again but it'll be it won't be where you are now it'll be started as a fresh stream again be back soon